So unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure by now you've heard that thousands of Americans have been trying to take ivermectin, which is traditionally used as a horse dewormer, to either cure themselves of COVID-19 or prevent COVID-19. Either way, that's not what it's intended to be, but it's leading to feed stores across the country putting up signs like this, telling people, you can't take ivermectin, it's not for you. Now, is it true that ivermectin is prescribed to human beings in human doses? Nobel Prize winning for humans. 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 Yes, that's true, but for parasites, it's not approved by the FDA for use against COVID-19. We have a vaccine that is safe and widely available, and it's free. So that's what people should seek out if they want to protect themselves against COVID-19, but instead people are taking ivermectin and they're only able to get the horse version or the sheep version because their doctors won't prescribe it to them since doctors know that it doesn't treat COVID-19 and so they're taking these giant doses flooding poison control with thousands of calls and in many instances they're literally shitting out their intestinal linings because they're taking a horse dose of COVID-19. Like this animal, that's thousands of pounds, humans are taking that much ivermectin because they were led to believe that it will protect them against COVID-19. Now, there's a lot of origins as to how ivermectin became so popular among the anti-vax community. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Facebook groups, there's quack doctors that promote ivermectin as, a, you know, a miracle cure for COVID-19. But what I do know is that the largest news network in America has definitely played a role. Case in point. Ivermectin, which can and is around the world, used to treat and prevent the spread of the coronavirus. It's not some crackpot fish tank cleaner. It's a real drug. The FDA tweeting, you are not a horse, you are not a cow. Seriously, y'all. Stop it. Ivermectin is not a recommended treatment for COVID-19. It is not a recommended drug to prevent COVID-19. Ivermectin. 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 And ivermectin. Ivermectin. It's all coming back to some sort of mind control. Because treating an illness doesn't get your mask on, doesn't get your school, kids out of school. They don't want to talk about recovery. Because they're a threat to higher priced medications and, and vaccines. And now we have YouTube censoring uh, Senate testimony of Dr. Corey talking about ivermectin. It's a really important point that you're making because Google's YouTube removed two videos. And there's a good chance everyone listening at home has never heard of ivermectin because Google has gone about censoring. They took all of those posts down. We know that our FDA has in many ways failed us by not allowing for the use of ivermectin. A miracle drug when it comes to treating COVID-19. I'm not a medical expert. They haven't even given uh, emergency use authorization uh, for ivermectin. Taken early, it can mitigate symptoms of COVID-19. This was a bad week for those who made it their business to bash ivermectin. This is, it's, it's, it's the new McCarthyism. Mm. If it's extremist to wonder about the origins of COVID, if it's extremist to wonder about the utility of masks outdoors, if it's extremist to wonder about ivermectin as a therapeutic drug, then count me as a radical. Yeah. Now, the reason why Fox News does this is because they can do this and get away with it. There's zero accountability whatsoever. Zero accountability. They don't lose advertisers. Viewers don't get turned off to this misinformation. And they know that this is wrong. Like Fox News is a company that literally has vaccine passports. Every single Fox News pundit that promotes ivermectin, they are required to disclose their vaccination status. They know that the vaccines work and ivermectin doesn't, but they still do this for whatever reason, because they're pandering to their audience who has been led to believe that ivermectin works. But the reason why they do this is because they know they can get away with it. And that's absurd. Like before you think that I'm advocating for censorship, ask yourself this. What happens if Fox News, like if a Fox News pundit, let's say Tucker Carlson, accidentally swears and says fuck on television, what's going to happen? The FCC is going to fine Fox News thousands of dollars. But yet, when Fox News promotes medical misinformation that leads to people literally shitting out their intestinal linings, what happens? Nothing. Zero fine, zero accountability. So they will continue to do things like this because they know there's, there's no downside. They can pander to their base, which maybe they feel they're losing to OAN or Newsmax by becoming increasingly insane promoting these you know cures 
for COVID-19 and, you know, promote anti-vax misinformation. And they know that it's not going to affect their bottom line. So unless you hit them where it hurts, have a mass advertiser boycott or find them, things like this are going to continue to happen. So for some additional details, we go to Media Matters who reports, there's been growing evidence against the efficacy of ivermectin, a drug most commonly used to treat animals in coronavirus treatment. Recently, a popularly cited study about ivermectin as a miracle COVID-19 treatment was retracted. The FDA also highlighted the drug's very dangerous side effects if taken to excess or in combination with other medications, especially the livestock version, which is highly concentrated and toxic to humans. In August, poison control centers across the United States were overwhelmed with calls about ivermectin, and in states with surging COVID-19, many stores have reported shortages of the drug due to its incorrect usage as a COVID-19 treatment. In Oklahoma, many stores sold out of needed supplies for horses and other livestock. In Mississippi, one person was hospitalized after taking the drug from a livestock feed store to treat COVID-19. So it's so frustrating because one of the excuses was, uh, I don't want to take this COVID-19 vaccine because it's not FDA approved. It only has emergency authorization from the FDA. Okay, well, now we have at least the Pfizer drug fully FDA approved. The Moderna will be approved in a couple of weeks, most likely. But yet when it comes to a horse dewormer, people are rushing to feed stores across the country to get that in lieu of a highly effective, widely available vaccine. I just, I don't get it. And you could probably hear the exasperation in my voice. I'm tired. Like the misinformation that we see, you know, it's always harmful regardless of the circumstances, but during a pandemic, it's especially deadly. If you want to prevent yourself from getting sick, you get vaccinated. That's the way you do it. You don't take horse dewormer. You don't try to seek out some sort of an alternative cure or natural or whatever cure. You just do what the evidence dictates you should do. And you should take the COVID-19 vaccine, not ivermectin. Whoever is promoting this, like Fox News, it is absolutely despicable and it's leading to people getting sick, but they don't care. They don't care. Now, again, I don't necessarily care if they are dumb or disingenuous it's a distinction without a difference either way it's harmful and it has to stop but it won't unless there's some real accountability for the people who are propagating all this misinformation this is ivermectin for humans you want a nobel prize is an antiviral see this fauci you see this bill gates i'm gonna kill those prions you bastard murderers and hit me with a bioweapon you monster you want to suppress me? You want to kill me? You son of a bitch. You goddamn demon. But that murderer Fauci doesn't want you to know because he wants the planet for himself and he wants you dead. Well, guess what, Fauci? We ain't rolling over.